Hey guys, welcome back to Exploded and Compressed. My name is Keo, and today we are going to be trying out one of the Philippines' best coffees as determined by the Philippine Coffee Quality Competition held in 2021. So it's the end of the year, and we want to taste some of the great coffees that came out this year. And specifically, this is the Marites Aureliano, which is a specialty Arabica. It's a Catimor from Davao del Sur. So I'm going to lift up this coffee and you can see here kind of what the beans are like and maybe this will help if you're a roaster so you have an idea of what the distribution of this coffee is like and you can see the different sizes of beans are how well it's sorted this particular coffee is roasted by um, our friends at crema and cream coffee roasters so shout out to sherman and louis all the guys over there now here's what our grind distribution is like so you can see kind of how coarse it is. On the Breville Smart Grinder Pro, at least on our Breville Smart Grinder Pro, um, this was at a uh, 55 grind size. And you can see that it's uh, pretty coarse. It's a pretty coarse grind size. Um, so if you don't remember, Explode Then Compress is where we explode out the coffee into four different cups, see how it tastes, and then we pull it as an espresso to see how, they, how it tastes both as espresso and as a drip coffee. This coffee looks kind of like a medium roast, so it should work pretty well for both. Best way to explain it is to see it done. Let's do that now. Starting a timer. First 50 seconds, now we're gonna move it to cup number two and go all the way up to 120 ml. We'll move the dripper at 1 minute 40 seconds. Don't forget to tear the scale. And now we're going up to 60 ml here in the third cup. Two minutes 30, move to the last cup and go up to 160 ml, uh, 120 ml for this last cup. And that is a total of 120 on this side. It's a total of 240 ml for our 16 ml of coffee. Now, when this gets to three minutes 20, I'm going to move it off of the cup. Um, although it looks like that's not gonna be totally necessary because our brew is finished right on schedule. And that is an exploded coffee. Let's give it a taste. Cup number one, always very dark, juicy colors on there give it a sip mm, on the nose very sweet um, caramelized sugar and sipping it's very confusing very sweet but also clear acidity and then a finish of uh, of chocolate on there let's see what we're getting in the second cup so just a little bit less uh, brown you can actually see very well here, the color distribution, how it's getting going from dark to light. So let's see how this second cup is. I'm getting a bit of, it's like some raisin, very balanced coffee. It's not extremely one thing. It's not extremely sour, not extremely sweet, very balanced. Third cup. interesting so this third cup is really opening up the flavor a bit more we're starting to see that raisin become more like a uh, more like a stone fruit is it like a rambutan and then the fourth cup mm. interesting so it it's a very sweet coffee very sweet, very tangy, not much development. It's very straightforward. I find that very unusual. And if you watch a lot of our episodes, this doesn't happen very often. Let's taste it all together. It's 
So all together, this is a sweet coffee. Not challenging at all. Some bitterness, a lot of sweetness, and a medium amount of acidity. No specific flavor notes. Like I know I was getting like some stone fruit, some rambutan and stuff earlier, some chocolate, but I really don't taste those things all together here. Like kind of homogenized into one glass. It's just a straightforward sweet coffee. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, on one hand, it might be a bad thing because people like tasting notes. Um, that's why people watch videos like this one because they want to kind of have a, have a beat, kind of have a direction of what the taste will be like. But at the same time, you also want for the coffee to have its own identity, to, for it to be its own thing. And maybe that's what we're tasting here. Not sure how helpful that was, but uh, we've tasted it, exploded, and kind of poured back into the same cup. Now let's taste it compressed. So here's our espresso of the Marites Aureliano. So we'll give it a little stir. Mmm, much better. Exciting. That same, um, just very general uh, tasting of sweetness, tanginess, acidity. It's balanced. It just doesn't have very specific, like, tasting notes that you can call out. It's delicious, though. I mentioned raisin earlier. That same dried fruit is still there. Um, rambutan, not there at all. This general dried fruit. Interesting. I think what we're tasting here is it's just a good coffee. <laughs> um, very straightforward, balanced, sweet coffee. A little bit of bitterness. More bitterness on the pour over versus the, the espresso. The espresso, very clean. Um, I think one of the things that really surprises me about this, and unfortunately we didn't get to do a video, we unboxed the Philippine Coffee Quality uh, Championship winner coffees. And one of the things that I'm noticing is that while they're all good coffees, we've been tasting some really good coffees from the Philippines that are not in that box. This is really good, but it's not quite as mind-blowing as a lot of the other coffees, Philippine coffees that we've been tasting throughout the year. And as you know, if you look at, uh, at the videos we've been doing, we're big fans of Philippine coffee. I just don't know why these come out as really good, but not necessarily exceptional when they are winners in the competition. And those are my honest to God thoughts um, on this coffee. No one can ever accuse me of being biased um, when it comes to this stuff. Have you tasted this coffee? Am I completely out of my mind? Am I wrong? Let me know in the comments down below and follow along on Instagram. Follow at KO Caution Instagram, which is my Instagram. Follow at Daily Drink Mag on Instagram and follow at Honeycomb Manila, which is this, our studio in Double Dragon Plaza. All right, I wish you guys good luck. I wish you guys good health and great coffee. Peace.